Hello and welcome to J-Hub's lesson on covalent bonding. First of all, a covalent bond is a bond formed by a shared pair of electrons. You need to remember the shared bit. Most people forget about it and then they lose the mark. So if you have something along the lines of chlorine, and you all know that chlorine has got seven electrons on its outer shell because it is in group seven, three, four, five, six, it wants another one it wants another um, electron in order for it to um, well reach an octet state that's why it bonds with another chlorine group 7 elements usually are diatomics usually they bond with each other just for ease of it and all because if they don't they'll just react with anything at all they will react, they will react with anything especially fluorine that's why we don't usually have them in colleges but they will share one electron in response of getting another one so therefore this has got eight this chlorine atom has got eight and this has got eight as well uh, this um, a dative covalent bond is a bond where um, a shared pair of electrons has been provided by one of the atoms this one had one atom and one electron being shared by each of them this one on the other hand oops that's supposed to be in blue this one on the other hand has got two x's that means it's being shared by this nitrogen okay because this used to be nh3 and it used to have a lone pair we're going to come to lone pairs in a minute and then a hydrogen plus atom came and that's basically a proton by the way and then that made NH4 because this was donated by nitrogen okay usually you would write it like this okay where a line stands for um it stands for covalent bonds which is being shared by both and this arrow means that N donated its electrons to H okay you need to remember the um, the N so um, for this uh, water molecule as I was trying to think um, this H2O which I've got the wrong way around um, <sighs> This H2O molecule has an oxygen has got six molecules, has got six electrons on its outer shell. One, two, three, four. But it can um what's it? It can share two a response of getting two as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's recent octet state. Remember, it always wants to reach an octet state apart from the group um, apart from the group 5 and onwards elements past the third period but we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute these are called lone pairs because they're not actually bonded to anything and these lone pairs repel more than bonded pairs as you would learn later on in the course because bonded pairs do repel each other that's why these two are not touching but the lone pairs repel them even more and you'd need to know what the angle is and such like. Um, so, this oxonium ion has been um, treated, is just basically an acid and water being mixed together to make an oxonium ion. And this is usually in many different types of reactions. So, um, what happens is that this is a lone pair. Um, this is also, um, this is a normal covalent. This is normal covalent. And this is dative. So what you do, what you'd write it as, you'd write it as, oops, well, never mind. You'd write it like this. Okay, with two lone pairs over here as well. Sorry, Ugh, two lone pairs over here. Okay, to signify that these electrons have been, pro have been donated to hydrogen. And as you learn in electronegativity, um, 
the, the electrons tend to be closer to the oxygen than to the hydrogen. But you'll learn about that later. Um, what happens is that the octet rule, since there are more electrons in, um, in group, five and, um, group 5 and onwards, that after the third period, what happens is that instead of them reaching an the octet state, they would actually expand from that. They may actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 electrons. Okay, that's why the octet state sometimes is a bit um, is a bit daunting. But you should know, you should just remember that group five elements can form three or five covalent bonds. Group six elements can form two, four, or six, and group seven elements can form one, three, five, or seven covalent bonds. This one, this SF6, as you know so far, is in the sixth group, is in group six. So that means it could have two, four, or six covalent bonds. And this has got six, so it's all right. Um, this is called a carbon monoxide. Um, um, this is called mo carbon monoxide. And we can see that this is a double bond because they're actually joined um, there are actually two um, two pairs of bonded electrons shared between these two um, atoms so because there are two of them it's called a double bond and we'd write it like that so we have C and O and we've got a coordinate bond and um, sorry we've got a um, we've got a dative bond over here as well so what we do, we would also write it like that. That bit could be wrong, but it logically we should write it like that. And that is it for um, for covalent bonding.